But level 21, critical paths. Here is a level 21 type question. We can move these little nodes around. Sometimes the writing might be hard to read, like the numbers might be on top of each other. You can move these nodes around. You can give yourself a bit more room to work if necessary. All right, now I want to find the minimum time required to complete this complicated task. That is the maximum path. If I start with 12, then I move to 12. So if I start with 12, then I move to 12. Let's say I move to this one, which brings me down to an 11, or I can move to this one, which brings me to another 11, or I could go to this 11 and up to here. I have an 11, I have an eight, then I have a 12. That has a weight of 55. If I think I can do better, I'm just gonna copy that, paste that here, 55. Then I'm gonna undo all of my work. So every time you press undo, it, it removes from the time and critical path. What if I was looking at 12, I wanna get the second 12, so I went this way, 12, 12, 11, eight, and then 12, which is a different route altogether. This is also 55. The both are 55, either is good. It'll take either answer. Let's say I made a mistake. Remove this and this, and let's say I went this way, and then I pressed enter. It would show me in blue the path that I took, but it shows a, the critical paths, and there are two of them that we found. There's that one, and then there's this one. Let's try another one. Okay, I see the correct answer. Below are the steps required in times to complete a complex task. Do I need to move any of these nodes around? I'm just gonna go over to here, move these nodes around a little tiny bit. I'm gonna start with the four. I can see I have got a path, I have 11s up here. This 11 leads to a 12, which leads to another 12. That looks like my critical path. If I go up to here, down to there, over to here, over to there, I have a critical path of 39. Press enter. And it is right. Let's do one more quickly. Here I need to move those nodes around. And none of these circles are on top of each other. I can read all the weights. I'm starting with 12. Then I could go to this, which is nine. 12 to nine. This arc is a nine, which leads me to a 10. Then I could go four and seven. Either which way, four and seven. You can always copy this, paste it down here. Is there something better? This is 42. Press the undo. What if I went 12? I want to get to this nine. What's the best way of getting to this nine? I could go 12. I could go down this way or I could go down that way. Or I could go down this way and up this way. I think I'll do that. It's got a six and then a two and then a seven and then a nine. And that only has a weight of 36. The A, E, F, I, L, O is better. A to E to F to I to L to O is better. And then I'm going to press enter. Let's just do one more quick one. I'm starting with tens to get me to other tens, and these tens will get me to eights and fives. So this eight will get me to a five, and this eight will get me to a ten. I'm gonna go that way. Ten, ten, eight, ten. Then let's see if that is the critical path. All right, and that's it for level 21. Have a good day.